Hey everybody, this is Power from Matchless over on Anchorhead. Uh, welcome to my newest and latest tanking guide video. Um, I'm going to go over my kinetic tree talent spec, which I've been currently using. I've been using the 31010 spec. Some people like the hybrid spec. I prefer this one because of the recent changes uh, to both slow time and harness shadows, which are now working as intended. Uh, Bioware's favorite quote. Anyways, uh, I take full tier 1 abilities. Uh, a lot of people I've seen argue technique mastery um, because they argue, you know, QQ, uh, elemental resist doesn't work, Sork zoning me, oh, tracer tra tra missile, tracer missile. But um, I don't even take it for the el elemental resistance. You're taking it for the internal resistance, guys. This is going to help uh, mitigate damage from marauders, any internal bleed damage, uh, all that good stuff. You're going to take these two left talents. <laughs> and not these two talents on the right. Next is these three abilities on the left side of the third tier. Mind over matter, particle acceleration, and kinetic ward, each of which I take. Kinetic ward you're going to need to pop before stealth and basically have it up all the time. It's going to have eight stacks, it's great skill. Particle acceleration, this is the buff, the proc rather, that you're going to be looking for at all times. Uh, it's going to automatic crit and extra damage uh, for your projects. It's a great skill, gotta have it. Um, some people argue they take this for stealth detection level. You're a tank, guys. Tanking Shadow. You're doing tons of damage. You're already hard countering uh, DPS spec assassins and operatives, uh, so you don't need this skill. I'm gonna take the next two impact control and one with the force, and then I go almost full in the fifth tier reason I only take two out of three nerve-wracking is not because it's great to have 9% extra damage from all sources, but to fill up the rest of the tree because Harness Shadows is now no longer broken, and slow time's only on an 8 second cooldown, so this is basically at three stacks all the time you're going to do extra damage on Telekinesis Throw. I've seen mine up to crit up to 2k, uh, it normally ticks for about 14 to 1600, so it's great, and it's healing you for 600 to tick, 9%, whatever you're doing. And then, you know, the grand, the grand master talent, slow time, which is so great because you know now shadows have an AOE snare, and on top of that, not only does it do 2k damage, pr pretty much to all targets, especially when when you pop all your cooldowns, it's doing way more. But it does, it's a damage reduct. It does 5% less damage on all targets, so it's awesome when you're fighting Zergs and when you're doing small man fights and for peeling issues so definitely I definitely recommend this back to 31010 um, we'll go over there into the balance tree discuss my points here it's a pretty basic genetic build you know force synergy jet resistance no points in force focus don't make the mistake you never use force technique uh, you're gonna want the reduced force cost on the project because this is such a uh, you're gonna be resource starved all the time and then obviously upheaval which is great. So yeah, that concludes my tree. Let's get into some gameplay. <laughs> 